April 6, 2005. Over the last few months, there has been a string of murders in the small border town. Three people have been murdered and the leads were cold. It wasn't until that I had been watching the news and was informed that the local murder mystery author, Samantha Martinez, would be coming down for some charity of it. I picked up her book and what I found was shocking to say the least. Hello, ma'am. Samantha? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, I was wondering if you could come down to the station with me uh, to answer a couple of questions because I was uh, reading your book and I noticed that there are some similarities between that, your the book, and this murder case that I'm working on. I was wondering if I can ask you a couple questions. Well, what part of the book? All right, you know, the part where the, the characters are in the forest and uh, the one about the bones on fire. You know, I was wondering if I can talk to you about that scene. Make any crime here. That part of the book, I didn't come up with it. The waitress at the bar did. Her name was Emily Rodriguez. Well, that's totally fine, ma'am, but I was wondering if you could still come to the station and just answer a couple questions. That'd be great. Sure, let me go grab my stuff real fast. All right, interview for Samantha Martinez for case number 06786. So, all right, Ms. Martinez, thank you for coming with, to the station with me to answer a couple questions. So, uh, just to start off right at the back, who was the one who gave you the idea for the book? Um, it was some local manager from one of the local restaurants. Her name was Emily Rodriguez, if I can remember properly. Hurry, hurry, bring me her food. Jesus. So, how are you doing over here? Doing pretty well. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, just wait, ready and waiting. All right, that's fine. Um, so why did you ask her for the ideas? Well, at the time, you know, I was struggling. I would go in every day, she'd give me a free meal. A very lovely lady. And I was trying to write this book. You know, I'm trying to make a little income. What's it about? Well, I'm kind of stuck right now. I'm not too sure what I should write next. You got any ideas? What about a murder? Do you know anything about maybe proposing the best murder for the book? That's easy. She sits down with me, she's like, what are you writing? I was like, oh, this is a murder mystery, you know, because those are fun books to write. I enjoy those personally. I uh, She's like, you okay? You know, asking me all these questions. And I was like, yeah, I'm just stuck. I don't know how to, you know, write the perfect mystery, murder mystery, and the murder for the whole story, you know. She's like, oh, well, that's easy. I went into this whole explanation of how to, I guess, so to speak, Commit this murder? First, you gotta choose your victim. Once you do, you strangle them a bit. And then you drag their body into the forest, where you will burn them to ashes. Once you have, you grind up their bones, and you throw that into the sky. Any remaining metals you might find, you just put them in a bed of acid. Maybe to cover up their traps, to do a little fire out there. You know, distract anyone that might be passing by. After that, that's it. All right, thank you, Miss Martinez. Um, so I do have a couple of other questions for you. It's like, where were you on January third, two thousand and five? Oh, that was the day where I was with my publisher. We were at a coffee shop going over the final steps of my book before completely publishing it. So, and why should I believe you? Okay. Well, I've been on a book tour. I don't have time to go out and do these kind of things. Mm -hmm. I've been gone. I've been in New York. I just came from California last week. I've yes. been all over the country. I've been book touring. Yes, but you were the one that wrote it. Why? Okay. Right? I'm exactly. An word, word for word. You wrote that. Right. I get that. She's the one who gave me those ideas. So you think she, she did it? Because it could have been me, so maybe there's connections. I can't say. I've never murdered anyone. Hmm. Now, one last question before we wrap this up. Like, do you know if there was anybody else along with Miss Rodriguez at the time? There was a cook. No, 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 it's okay. I've got to go. I've got to finish this. <laughs>
I've got good ideas. Who she yells out all the time. She, I think she's new. I'm, I'm not sure of her name. Well, okay, Miss Martinez. Thank you for your cooperation. And if there's a, if I have any more questions, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Can you tell me who Samantha Martinez is, though? Okay. Oh, so you know her? Yeah. Like, what can you tell me about her? Like, all I know is she wrote this book. Yeah, but she didn't fucking give me credit for it. So you tell me you came up with the ideas on this book? All mine. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting. It's because there's a lot of similarities to an investigation I'm doing. Like, can you come to the station with me so I can ask you a couple questions about this? Hell no. Thank you, Ms. Rodriguez, for attending this questionnaire. So this is for the um, the murder cases for case number 06786. First interviewee had some uh, interesting points, and um, she did bring up the fact that you came up with the idea for the ideas in the murders. I see. Now that bitch is trying to give me credit, huh? Hmm. So and you just came up with those ideas? Yeah, I did. What does it matter now? Hmm. Well, it's, it's, it's interesting because the murders described in the book were exactly as the mur these uh, live murders have actually happened. And um, I'm just having a hard time believing it that this idea came out of thin air. Look, I made up a story. It's not my fault the bitch decided to follow my instructions. Okay. So you're telling me that you have nothing to do with the murders? Hell no. Girl just wanted publicity for her book. Hmm. So... You think that she was the one that probably did the murders? Yeah, look at all the good things that have happened. This is all publicity. Hmm. Now, it, like, uh, Miss Martinez did go on and state that there was someone else, a cook of some sort, working for you at the time that you gave her the idea. Who was that person? Ugh, my slave. Useless. Useless. That's what that girl was. <laughs> Can you give me her name, please? Her name? I don't know her name. Do you know where you last saw her? Where she could have been? Uh, yeah. In the kitchen. Making your food. Hmm. Alright, thank you, Ms. Rodriguez, for uh, coming down to the station with me to answer a couple questions. Things weren't getting any better after interviewing both possible suspects. And the more I thought about it, the more difficult it was for me to believe that either one of these two had anything to do with the murders. I'd say it was probably some obsessed fan. That was, until I got an interesting phone call about the location of said murder weapons. Oh, it's you again. What do you want? Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to come to down to the station with me. No, I don't feel You're like it. You're gonna be placed under arrest. Come on, ma'am. No. Don't touch me. Come on. You're under arrest. No. Come on. Oh, you, you just woke me up from my nap. Come on, ma'am. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. First, you gotta change your victim. What to do? She's dragging them a bit. You drag their body into the forest where you will burn them to ashes. Once you have, you grind up their bones and you throw that into the sky. Any remaining metals you might find, you just put them in a bed of acid. You cover up your traps. You do a little fire up there. Distract anyone that might be passing by. After that, that's it. Did you make the call? Did it go well? Pleasure doing business.